You're watching 8 bit days a week, and I'm gonna be playing. It's gonna be um, puzzle games today. Except I already tried columns, so I do apologize. <laughs> it's more like Puyo Puyo. And um, I think this is actually. Um, well, one of the Puyo Puyos here, I can't remember which one, is um, exclusive to this version, the Asian version. But, yeah, I can't really recall if it's the first one or the second one. Anyway, let's go ahead and try this one. It's called Dr. Botnik's Bean Machine, but it's actually just a port of uh, Puyo Puyo. Replacing the characters, of course, with, uh, I suppose, characters from uh, Sonic. I don't really know them very much, so I'm not familiar with them. <laughs> And um, I'm actually surprised Puyo Puyo the series has lasted as uh, long as it did. I guess it's almost at the level of um, Tetris. Maybe as popular as uh, Dr. Mario. Well, I don't know which is more popular between the two. I think it's Puyo Puyo, though. But um, that's just my speculation. I don't really know. Not exactly the expert player here, as you can see how slow I go. <laughs> Alright, I'll take that win. So yeah, I guess we're going up, up against... Actually, I'm not even sure if these guys are actually from uh, Sonic. But anyway, it has Dr. Robotnik's name on the title. And if you switch to the Japanese version of this, you get, of course, Puyo Puyo without the Dr. Robotnik references. And see here, we have Puyo Puyo 2. I guess it's a um, wasted slot, but in the Japanese or the American version anyway, you have only one of them. So if this is it's exclusive to the Asian version. And here we have the unreleased uh, cartridge Tetris. Along with uh, Darius. It was only released this year, finally, officially, for Sega Mega Drive. Something like uh, Star Fox 2 for the SNES Classic. Of course, these two, even combined, wouldn't be able to c compare to the Star Fox 2 surprise when it first came out. And um, if this looks familiar, maybe you've seen me play it already in one of my previous videos. 
because this is actually the arcade version. Um, I mean Sega's version that was uh, first made for the arcade. Uh, okay, that was terrible. With the same music and all. And this music is you can actually hear this uh, or a, a remix of it in the Puyo Puyo Tetris that uh, that was released on the Switch. So interesting, actually. We're playing it for the first time, but we played it before. If that makes sense. Ah, so terrible. Yeesh. <laughs> I, um... Yeah. Not really a good game here. These drops are really... Black. That's a word I could use right now. <laughs> I went for so long without a uh, f eye shape. Petrimino. And yeah, I'd rather be playing Tetris 99 over this one. So it's an interesting addition, although it's something we can actually um, not really have. It's not really essential. I mean, we could have all went on and this thing not being ever released and we wouldn't miss a thing since it's just uh, um, actually very bare bones Tetris There is no fun if I play it too safe there best to try to get like uh, Tetris all the time. As far as puzzle games go, go I do believe this is still like uh, the king of the hill. And they even hold uh, tournaments for this one. They use the NES version the official NES version, not the Tengen one. And, um, personal story, I actually played the arcade of this in a uh, like a local McDonald's years ago when I was uh, still young. Um, it was beside a Street Fighter 2 machine and um, of course this was ignored. <laughs> Everyone is uh, lining up for the Street Fighter so rather wait for my turn there I just played this one. Um, I do recall the operator there gave me like a free game once I reached level 15 which 
motivated me to, you know, get to <laughs> get to level 15. I did manage until 16, I think. And he wouldn't give me any more free games. He said that that's actually just a low level. And he proceeded to show me that he can reach level above 20, I think. So that's fine. At least I did get a free game even just once. Ah, mistake. Finally. Oh no. Made a mistake there. Now I need two of those long things. Or three. Ah, it's the beginning of the end. Yeah. And it has to happen whenever it's already like at a, at a faster. Ugh. All right, give up. Well, forty lines. That's fine. Just for a casual game there. And um, all right, just to round off the. I also played this before already, as well as this one. No, it's not a puzzle game, it's like a party game or board game. I don't know how they classify it. And yeah, so since I already played Columns in another video, please check that out. I'll just go ahead with Puyo Puyo 2 here. So in effect, I played Puyo Puyo Tetris today. And um... This also, I think, uh, is the same version that came out recently in... Hey, come on, choose someone already. In uh, the SNES Classic on the Nintendo Switch. Um, I... Um, Honestly, I can't tell if they made some changes. Well, there's voices. There's one. is the puzzle games that still thrive today I think uh, oh yeah puzzle fighter um, also came out in the PlayStation classic although not a good choice actually for that mini system Like, of all the Capcom games they can include, they had to choose that one. Should have included, like, a fighting game. Alright, that's it for this one. Anyway, this is Puyo Puyo 2, so I played um, three puzzle games before. 
uh, Robotnik's machine, bean machine, which is actually Puyo Puyo 1, Puyo Puyo 2 here, and the never been released Tetris. Uh, please uh, let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. And thank you for watching 8-Bit Days a Week. See you next time.